welcome back to Jason's Macintosh Museum. This is part two in the video series on the Macintosh 2CX from 1989. And in this video, we're going to start the 2CX up and try a couple of old Macintosh games. So you can see that we have a keyboard, mouse and monitor hooked up to the 2CX and we're using the Apple Color high resolution RGB monitor, the 13 inch monitor that would have been used with the 2CX when it was new. And we also have the Apple Extended Keyboard 2 and the Apple ADB mouse. So we'll start the 2CX up now. And because the 2CX supports soft power, we can turn it on either from the switch on the back or with the power key on the keyboard. So we'll use the power key on the keyboard for this one. So first we'll turn the monitor on. Let's give that a second to warm up. turn on. <laughs> Notice that it was a very fast startup because uh, this particular 2.6 is running System 6. So now that it's started up, we'll, uh, we'll have a closer look. We now have the Macintosh 2CX up and running. So let's have a look at a few of the features of the system software, and then we'll look at some games. So first of all, we're running System 6 on this, which is the reason it was so quick to start up. And as you'll see, we're also running it in MultiFinder mode. Now MultiFinder was an, really a, almost an add-on to System 6 that allowed you to more or less run more than one application at the same time and switch between them. And if you have System 6 and you're wondering how to enable that, it's under the Set Startup option in the Special menu. So you can see that you can choose to start the system up in the regular Finder or in Multi Finder. So with Multi Finder, you get an icon up in this corner which shows you what you're currently running. And also, we'll have a look at the uh, control panel quickly. Now, it's worth noting that System 6 was the first version, well, I, actually, no, I believe it was the, the, um, the, the first major release to support color Macs, although, having said that, I think System 5 uh, was shipped with the Macintosh 2 when it first came out. But it wasn't really until System 7 in 1990. Uh, one, I believe it was, that color was integrated properly into the Macintosh system. On System 5 and System 6, color is still a bit of an afterthought. And one example of that is that the system folder, for example, does not have any color icons, although you can select from the color menu a color for a particular icon if you uh, if you wanted to but in the control panel you can choose colors for the desktop pattern you've got uh, colors here for uh, for the highlighter uh, I'm going to change well, you can pick colours through <laughs> through that. And you also have the ability, of course, to choose the number of colours displayed on the internal uh, video card. And, of course, being System 6, we have a different selection of alert sounds. <laughs> right, let's try a couple of games that I have. Let's try Motorbike. Now, with Motorbike, the aim apparently is to jump this car down here while avoiding various obstacles along the way. Now apparently you change the revs by moving the mouse up and down inside the window and you change gear by clicking the mouse button so there are a few yeah, there's a few things you have to do though so let's um, let's give it a try. Change. 
Ah, um, we may have, maybe we have to jump that or something. Um, <laughs> let's try that again. Oh, <laughs> a bit too much there. Let's start off gradually. No, doesn't like that. Ah. <laughs> um. Right, maybe, maybe you have to do a wheelie over that. I don't know. Let's. Oh, I see. So if you if you start slow and then accelerate, I think that's what you have to do. Ah, oh, that worked. Ah, oh. Why didn't that work? <laughs> <I'll d> <laughs> this is actually much harder than it looks. Oh, oh, we have to slow down for that. Ah! I slow down and then speed up. Oh, I think you have to do the same for jumping over the car. So I slow down and then accelerate hard. Oh. <laughs> i give this one more try. I think is it, how do you change down a gear? Every time you click the mouse, you change... Ugh. <laughs> Every time you click the mouse, you change up a gear. And jump. Ugh. Hmm. Might come back to that one. <laughs> Let's play some darts. I have played this before, and the way you shoot the darts is you have to drag a line from in this area towards the board, and that determines the uh, the throw. So let's see if we can. Uh... Mm. Mm. Not bad. Ah, not as good. Oh, that's better. Unfortunately, with this darts game, you can't play against the computer, so I'll have to be players one and two. Oops! Oh. <laughs> uh, that's better. Oh, it's now player one's turn. Uh, not bad. Ooh! See, the longer the line, the uh, the uh, the further away from the uh, middle that you throw. It's actually very tricky to uh, to do this. Hmm. Oh. I'll play a one can shoot from that side too. Oh, okay. You have to drag from. From here. Mm, not bad. Well, that was bad. <laughs> Shame there's no sound to go with this. No sound of a dart being thrown. A and a, and a bink sound as it hits the dartboard. Is there any sound on this? Nope. Ah, she tells you how to play. That's good. Yes, yes, we know all that. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, yes. See if I can actually get a bullseye. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, so close. Actually, very hard. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, Alright, that's enough of darts. Let's look at a game with has a bit, has a bit of colour. A thing called Crystal Quest. Okay, and I believe that you can use the mouse to play this. Let's uh, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, shoot everything that uh, comes in your way. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, ah, that's ah, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not supp oh, I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. It's a bit of a lag. It's, it's, it's got a bit of inertia to it. It's quite hard to. Whoa. Ah, then you can go out. <laughs> Having said that, of course, I'll, lose, I'll end up uh, losing this round. You're supposed to shoot it. Ah, you're not supposed to run into those. <laughs> Oi. No, no, don't. Ah, oh, they shoot back. That's not fair. You can't shoot back. Ah. <laughs> Only, uh... Oh, Jason backslash, that's good. <laughs> Let's have another go. Oh, I, I crashed into the exit! <laughs> try. Oh, oh, is that... Are you supposed to shoot... Oh, oh, excellent. Haha. <laughs> now don't crash into the exit this time. into those. Yeah. That's not good. Um, oh, I've got to get that one. Uh, ah! No. <laughs> oh, I've done them. Oh, I can... Oh. Careful. Ha! Ah. Ah. Ha! Oh, whatever that... I don't know what that is, but it, that can't be good. Oh, you can't shoot it! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, get that. Impression of those. Whoa! It's hard with the, with the inertia. This. Oh. Ah. Uh, yes. Ah. 
Oh, 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 great. Now you've got the... Oh, oh boy. <laughs> uh, it's actually quite hard. Whoa. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. Yes! things. Looks like miniature expansion cards or something. Ah, but you are supposed to shoot them apparently. It's hard to tell what, ah, what you're supposed to... Ah, oh, you're not supposed to hit those either. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to figure this out. Oh, I didn't even touch it! No fair. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Um Oh, you can't crash into those. Ah. score. Hmm. Well, haven't got much competition, have I? <laughs> okay, I think that's enough of that. Uh, how do we quit? Don't know how you... How do you quit? Hmm. Well, let me quit. This is the problem with full screen games. They often don't... Uh, it's usually, um, Apple Key W will, will do it. Oh, well, might have to just do it the, uh, do it the old-fashioned way. Command, control, power. Nope. That doesn't even work. Oh, reset button. I've come back to motorbike because I'm determined to try and at least complete one level of this. So I think I've worked out that you have to do a wheelie over that bump and do a wheelie over the the car that you try to jump. So let's try this again. I think maybe if I stay in first gear that might help. So slow down, then... I think the problem is I'm going too fast when I actually hit the, um, when I hit the ramp. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't get that. Slow down. Now go. Oh, <laughs> maybe I have to be in second gear when I do that. Oops. That's the trick. You have to land on here. If you jump too high and end up here, you crash. Okay, that makes sense. Really? Now 
second. And the trees you've got to slow right down. Yes, that's it. Uh, I, I, I think I see the pattern here. Oh, we'll try three cars. Jump. I think the problem is if you're not in, if you're not in high enough gear, you end up won't end up getting far enough across. Ah, nice. Okay, well, I think that's. Uh, I think that's good. I've uh, managed to successfully jump three cars, so I'm happy. <laughs> so, at this point, we'll uh, shut the two CX down. So that was a demonstration of the Macintosh 2CX from 1989. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.